Hello everyone, thank you for uh, joining me today. Um, today we're going to do a demonstration of Premier OCR for Panasonic scanners. Uh, today's demonstration is really going to be focusing in on the batch processing of documents for compression and OCR. Um, you see here when the software first opens up, you will be directed to a uh, quick setup wizard. Um, you can go through this to optimize your settings or set up a simple run. It will basically give you uh, a number of different questions to uh, answer about your documents and how to process them. Um, and it's a nice thing to set up for, um, for a first time user and, and things like that. Um, what I'm gonna do is go through just uh, some of the settings on the left and I'm gonna first just switch over to batch compression. Um, so this will allow us to select documents for compression and I'll first, before we do that, we'll go through just some of the settings over here on uh, this side and then we'll set up that job for processing. Um, first, I'm going to go through just image processing. We have a number of different uh, pre-processing methodologies for documents, um, and we break them out by, by tonal images, um, grayscale images, and color images. We can clean documents, just speckle them, smooth them out. Um, next, we're going to go into just our PDF input processing. I like to select to rasterize each PDF page for uh, image processing and OCR recognition. What this allows the software to do is essentially break down a PDF um, and build it back up and it will yield greater compression results as well as uh, OCR results. We have the ability to, uh, to crop images, to skew and rotate images. Uh, one of the things I like to do here is um, automatically rotate all the pages to their readable orientation. Um, this way if someone scans something in uh, previously upside down or anything like that, um, we'll automatically rotate that to, uh, to be in its readable orientation. Also have the ability to uh, invert color. So this will convert uh, black to white and white to black. Uh, sometimes it's used in the medical space for x-rays and also for sometimes for, um, for microfilm conversions. I have a number of different output options. I usually just let the software auto-select it, um, but we do have PDFA available if that is something that, um, that uh, is required. We can merge and split documents here. Uh, we have a number of different uh, compression settings depending on the actual image type. Um, so you can see here we have different filters for bitonal, uh, grayscale and color documents. Uh, on recognition, I've selected to include OCR. Um, I almost always will go with the accurate analysis mode. Um, the only time that I recommend to users to really look at the super accurate analysis mode is if they're dealing with a severely degraded image, um, something that's been faxed multiple times and then scanned in, um, or something that might have um, multi-directional text in there. You might want to test that out, but usually accurate is, uh, is the way to go have about, I think, 120 languages that we can process. Um, you can see a lot of them are listed out here. Um, we have some advanced analysis on images and also some different things that we can do on output options. So we can generate auxiliary data files. So on top of the PDF that we will generate, we can generate text files, uh, Word documents, XML files, things like that. On communications, we have the ability to pull documents down from uh, FTP sites and put them back up there. A variety of doc document features can be added to documents. Um, by default, we will optimize files for the web. So what this allows is basically um, page at a time display for any document that is uploaded onto a website or an intranet site. Um, so if someone uploads a 50-page document that is web optimized, they won't have to wait for that entire 50-page document to download. They can view page one instantly. Um, document info can be added to documents here, such as author, title of documents, things like that. Metadata can be added as well, and viewer preferences can be uh, inserted here as well. Annotations are also things that can be added to documents using the software. Um, you have the ability to add a variety of different uh, headers, footers, uh, stamps, and watermarks. Um, some of the common headers and footers include a date stamp, a page number, bait stamp, or even some custom text. Also have the ability on the security side to um, enter in passwords for any documents that already have a uh, password and be able to process them, and also add uh, password protection to output documents as well. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and just set up the uh, a batch to run here. So let me just quickly select my files. And I'm just going to just drag and drop this right down here. Okay, um, so you can see here, um, we've already set up the folders. I'm gonna just select a separate output folder to put this into. I 
can process a variety of different types of documents, uh, including TIFF, PDF, JPEG, PNG, and the total number of document types that we can process of 13. But I've just selected those four for now. Um, I'm going to leave the process input files in their existing location, but you can delete them or move them to a new location. And I'll just kick off the processing now. The batch processing use case is very common for anyone that is, has a repository of documents that have already been scanned in and uh, require um, full text OCR as well as compression on those documents. Um, we also have uh, watch folder processing for, uh, for go forward processing and that helps to sort of automate that a little bit. The software leverages multi-threading, um, so I'm processing documents right now on a quad-core laptop. That allows for uh, me to process four documents concurrently, and it will queue up the next four. Um, if you put it on an eight-core machine, you can process eight documents at the same time. So this is already finished up here. So I'm going to pull up our original files. You can see them right here. I have uh, three JPEGs and a few different uh, TIFF files, and these are the output files here. Um, so you can see here, I created some text documents as well with the uh, PDFs. Um, I'm just going to get rid of those text documents so we can just easily take a look at the, uh, the PDFs here. Okay, so you can see here the, uh, the file names are the same, um, and the files have, uh, have decreased in size dramatically. So the original files here uh, are sitting all around 6 megs, 7 megs. On these three, they're down to 78 kilobytes to 83 kilobytes. And the same thing with some of our black and white images. Um, take a look at just some of the sample images here. You can see this is just a magazine clipping that was about 6 megs. And it is now down to uh, a few kilobytes. You can see it's a very clear document. It has not been degraded at all. It's also uh, fully text searchable, so I can highlight here on all of the text. I can also just search within here, within here as well. So I can search for any, docu any phrases in the document. I'll be brought right to there. So that about concludes today's demonstration. Again, I want to thank you for, uh, for joining and, and watching this uh, demo of Premiere OCR. Um, we look forward to uh, working with you, and any questions that you might have, please feel free to, uh, to reach out.